House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer signing off on three subpoenas yesterday, ordering Hunter Biden, James Biden, and Rob Walker to appear for on-the-record testimony. Hunter's lawyer is slamming Comer, claiming that this is another, quote, political stunt, but also saying that Hunter is, quote, eager to publicly speak to the committee. Comer also requesting transcribed interviews from James Biden's wife, Sarah Biden, President Biden's daughter-in-law, Hallie Biden, Haley Biden's older sister, Hunter Biden's wife, Melissa Cohen, and former Biden business partner, Tony Bobolinsky. Joining me right now is South Carolina Congressman Russell Fry, a member of the House Oversight and Judiciary Committee. What I'm really concerned with is the layer of payments. Why, what services were provided, and why this complicated series of transactions that took place, it looks like and smells like and has since the very beginning an effort to cover up the tracks of what these are intended to do. And I'm really concerned about U.S. policy being shaped by how much cash you're giving to the Biden. Family. Have you been able to identify policy changes that Joe Biden made as a result of being paid for them? I know that as soon as he walked into the Oval Office, for example, that one of the first things he did was cancel the China initiative, which actually was quite effective in terms of uh, arresting people who were sending uh, intellectual property to, to communist China. Do you have any specific uh, areas where you believe Joe Biden changed policies because he was paid? Well, I think the clearest example is is Ukraine, where mm. you know the prosecutor was filed or fired. Excuse me. I also think that uh, there was a Russian oligarch who was not sanctioned. Uh, there was a meeting that took place at Cafe Milano here in Washington D.C. Uh, and then when. President Biden becomes president uh, and these sanctions happen uh, with Russia, this oligarch was not on the list. There was also a company, a facial recognition company, uh, that didn't seem to go through the proper channels when it was purchased by a Chinese Communist Party uh, entity. I think these are things are all uh, entities or transactions that I would like to personally explore. House Republicans have conducted a methodical investigation into the alleged actions of the Biden family, including Joe Biden himself. Uh, in his family's foreign business dealings uh, and foreign, uh, foreign peddling schemes. As a member of both the House Judiciary and Oversight Committees, I can say that our investigation has peeled back layer upon layer of Biden family scandals and has exposed the safety nets designed to insulate the Biden family and Joe Biden from impending accountability. You know, there are nine members of the Biden family have received these monies. $40,000 direct payment to Joe Biden himself, $200,000 direct payment to Joe Biden himself, allegedly under a loan. We have WhatsApp messages, pseudonyms, e fake email addresses, and 22 meetings in which Joe Biden himself. The question is simple. What did President Biden know about his family's criminal enterprises and when? That is the question. That is why this inquiry is necessary. We've already uncovered that the Biden family received $25 million in payouts from foreign adversaries. Their scheme was simple. Foreign client has a problem. Client pays a Biden. Vice President Biden travels to the foreign country. Vice President Biden leverages U.S. influence to force favorable outcomes for the client. The Biden family earns their fee. That's the scheme. The proof of concept was Burisma in 2014, and they replicated it again and again. They have found over $10 million from China, Russia, Ukraine, and Romania funneled through the corrupt influence peddling schemes to line the pockets of the Biden crime family. The DOJ, FBI, and other federal agencies mobilized to play cover-up and attack Biden's leading political opponent, Donald Trump, in a desperate effort to distract from Joe Biden's <laughs> failings. And Joe Biden has lied continuously to the American people about how he was not only aware of, but was involved with and financially benefited from his family's corrupt influence peddling schemes. Look around this room on these poster boards. The evidence is here. And unlike Joe Biden, the bank records do not lie. The U.S. voted along party lines to begin an impeachment inquiry into President Joe Biden. The vote gives committees investigating the president better legal standing to seek documents and witness testimony. That includes focusing on the president's son, Hunter Biden, who defied a congressional subpoena Wednesday to appear for a closed-door deposition. President Biden calls the effort a baseless political stunt. Lawmakers on both sides.